This show is about hip hop's popular opinion. This show is designed to let the people, the hip hop world, share their opinions, argue, make suggestions, criticize, or just plain hate. Most people when it comes to hip hop would like to think that they know everything. The truth is, nobody knows everything. It's all an opinion, a hip hopular opinion. Does hip hop still exist? Is hip hop dead? Is hip hop all about the money? Is hip hop just an old school culture? Be prepared to be challenged on your hip hop knowledge. I'll be searching for these answers, traveling to barbershops, schools, parties, and most of all, the streets. Wherever hip hop lives, I'll be there. So if you think you know hip hop, come drop some science on my new show, The Hip Hop Opinion. What's up? It's your boy, Ike Love. Of course, we back with another dose of The Hip Hop Opinion. This time we had to bring it to the dirty dirty. We down in ATL and you definitely know ATL got it on lock with hip hop right now. With the likes of Ludacris, T.I., Young Jeezy, even Lil Wayne came through here and represented for a little while. The whole Dungeon family with Outkast, yo they have been representing for a long time. And a lot of people been hating on the ATL and it's about time they spoke up and let you know their hip hop opinion on the game. So everybody need to get up off of the ATL and start recognizing and stop hating. But right now, we about to take it up top to Gannett County, to Flatbush Barbershop at 5200 Jimmy Carter Boulevard, where they always got an argument going on about hip hop. So right now, stay tuned to the Hip Hop Opinion. We about to get it crunk. Again, another dose of the hip popular opinion. This time we're in ATL. We at Flatbush Barbershop here on 5200 Jimmy Carter Boulevard. Gwinnett County, stand up. It's your turn. Now, I've been in this barbershop many times in many arguments. After getting a nice fresh haircut, I hung around to keep it going because they always arguing about hip hop up in here. So, right now, we're going to get their hip hop opinion on what they think is up with the game of hip hop. My man, I know you like somebody. Who the best of you? Cut that out. <laughs> uh, I think he was Jay-Z and Lil Wayne. So you're saying Jay-Z and Lil Wayne are the best, hands down? Yeah. Why? Why are they the best? What makes them the best? Don't say because they got money either. Nah, hell nah. Cause they, lyrically, they, they come with it. It makes sense. A lot of these uh, like one-hit wonders. You know what I'm saying? You hear a song on the radio and next week, next month, next six months, you don't hear nothing else from it. So what if I said to you, that Jay-Z and Lil Wayne, if there was a war for hip-hop most improved, that they was get it. Because when they both came in the game, they was subpar. Right. You so know what I'm saying? the most improved? No, I'm just saying, Jay-Z is good, but he started out garbage. Right, right. So did Lil Wayne with the wobble you wobble you know what I'm saying? Right. But I mean, you entitled to your own opinion. Right. So I mean, you know, so my man, who's the best of you? Uh, out right now? Yeah. Uh, I have to say Kanye, man. So what do you think about his response? It's a good answer. You know what I mean? Nothing wrong with that answer. Like you said, everybody entitled. So, so what makes Kanye the best, though? Yeah, in your yeah. opinion, his lyrical content is it's crazy. Huh? His lyrical content is crazy. Yeah. So is he better than Jay Z? I think so. You know what I'm saying? No longevity, man. Jay been around for a while. You gotta earn that. <laughs> They're falling off, though. Oh, so you saying Jay Z falling off? Disagree. Strong. He said Jay Z falling off. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> he said Hove is done with. Hove ain't even doing nothing. He said he could ka put. It's a rap. Nah, Hove ain't even doing nothing. It ain't like you just laying low. You want to see what other garbage niggas put out? <laughs> then he gonna jump right on it. Stop. Yeah. He gonna stop him from doing the auto tune again. Kill him with the auto tune. They still, doing, they still, it, that auto tune still rolling hard. Nobody right. paid them no attention. Who's doing it? A lot of artists doing it. I, Let I, me know so I know that I don't particularly out. like it, but I'm saying, but they doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I think the best doing it right now is Kanye, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but all that singing and shit, y'all actually like that? It ain't singing. It ain't what do you singing. call it then? Um, it's rap. 
That, right. that, what is it? The lock? That, what is that shit? The, no, the, 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 I don't even know what it's called. Lyrically, it's called. Uh, but he's singing right now, man. No, he's not. What's that, yay? These high heels? Is that a May what? That's one song. You broke your neck on that song. Come on, man. I, I, I think his days are number. He crossing over, man. They don't even no, use not. that phrase no more. Crossover. No, it's cool to, to cross Act over. Act 50 would be nice. Who's he? He the one who put him out. He the one who Kanye put out. Man, you know, up. rappers are gonna respect other rappers for the sake of the game. Nobody wants to hate on nobody no more. But if you yeah. gotta think about it, listen, hating is allowed in hip-hop. Right. You know what I'm saying? You allowed to diss another rapper. Niggas are scared to say what they really feel, and that's why this show is... Well, not Kanye. And a lot of rappers yeah, scared. But Kanye ain't saying nothing to no other rappers. When Benny Siegel came at his nah, neck, he, he ain't say shit. He, he ain't respond at all. Like he didn't respond at all. I like Benny Siegel at now. He ain't right here in Philly somewhere. I like well, Benny Siegel. Look, I'm not even going to respond to like Benny Siegel. The point I'm Benny Siegel <laughs> talk about me. I'm not saying nothing. Well, but the point right, I'm right now. <laughs> you borrow money from me right now. But the point I'm making is, when somebody says something to Kanye, he didn't have shit to say. He'll talk shit to George Bush and white America, he ain't say nothing to no rapper coming in at his neck though. Oh, that's the rapper's trying to the eat problem. off of him. They trying to eat off of him. To be honest, I, I, I hear some. Yo, I heard it. Not only that, you, to be honest, they trying to the eat off at. of him though. Why I'm gonna be for the rapper when I know where the problem comes? Pump him up. Trying to make his sales go up. Yeah, I mean, I come back on, at you man. now. You got hype. I'm just saying though, at, at that time, Seagull was on top. He didn't need, he don't need Kanye to get no record sales. Where he at now? I don't know where he's at. Okay. That's a good question. <laughs> B. Seagull, where you at? They asking for you at. You my man, but where you at? He nice, but where you at? But I'm just saying when you get stepped to by another artist, that's your job to respond. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't say shit. He could talk shit to Jay Z didn't respond to Cameron. Why? Kanye don't talk about nobody. Though. He ain't want to give Cameron the time like that. Yeah. I don't mean he couldn't handle Cam. Yeah. He just didn't want to say nothing. But yeah. what, what, what Cam said was true too, though. He ain't respond to Jim Jones. A lot of times you don't never, respond because the shit is true. I never spoke to Cam, so I don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I heard the album, I heard the song, and Jay Z did bite a lot of shit that other people was doing. I know it hurts you as a whole fan. No, no, no. I, you gotta give me an example of what he did. He said a lot of shit, man. And the song that Cameron did, I don't know the title, he broke it down and gave many examples of lyrics that he done used from other people. You gotta give me an example. Most you, of it was not big. Not Cameron, you. Most of it was big and he said, I'm shouting out my brother. And I big, he respecting his man. That's you right. don't understand yeah, that's that. That's right. If all my right. man die, I'm gonna keep his name alive yeah. all day long, but every day. he don't day. need you to keep it alive. Who is he? But he that's his man, because that was his man. When, before Big even died, he acknowledged that's his right hand man. He don't say his rhymes, though. Why he can't do that. I mean, and Nas so even says, wait, though, wait, how wait, many of Big rhymes are gonna go out of here fast? So you think Jay need to copy somebody rhyme to get it? I ain't saying what he need. You know he's the best ghostwriter out there? I ain't saying. You know he made the best hit for Dr. Dre and Snoop, right? Like I said, that's your opinion, but my It's opinion, the truth! I'm not saying what he need to do, but okay. I'm just saying... You know, he made Foxy uh, Brown the greatest album she ever had. He wrote the whole album. My whole thing is, Nas said how many of Biggie's rhymes Again, gonna come out of your fat where lips? Where is Nas? One more question. He around? He doing songs? He where? He out? Jay-Z ain't out either. Who did he sign with? He ain't got the bitch out. Who did he sign with? Who did he sign with last you know what I mean? time? What you think Nas do? He left Nas at the other lake to come with me, stay right here, wait at the bus stop, I'll be right back. Oh, come he on. left Nas well, at the So we know what he did to Nas, though. He played him. You know what I'm saying? We know what he did. Nas he played him. We know what he did to Nas, though. Nas Nas though. Nas it ain't Nas nobody Nas in here that can't say that Nas didn't eat Jay in that battle. So that's a that's a chapter is over with. Nas was talking cartoon stuff on it. He said he looked like a rat. He's a camel. You love Ethan. Jay was like, you straight up and down. Bro, I love you. Come on, man. And you, you're not real. He's you talking about that duck. Huh? Now it's like confused. Now it's my man, right? But he confused. <laughs> One day you want to put on a koofy, then the next day he got the biggest QB bomb chain on. In a oh, pool, man. talking about Uchi Wally. Which where you he at? Wear no Koofy. He had a <laughs> Come on, anybody can wear a Koofy. I wore a Koofy. I had a bad haircut. Koofy, Koofy is, is like an NY fitted now. The way people rock. Oh, yeah, so it ain't personal no more. And that's nah. how Nas play. But the point Nas is, Nas not real with his man. That's, that's where he at. Where he at right now? Point is. Tell him get that 50 G up for hunger. Ooh, with the girl? Get the 50 G's up for hunger. You know what I'm talking about. The milk girl. Well, I can't milkshake. bring his personal <laughs> issues. The one who bring the milkshake to the yard. <laughs> Like, nah, get like Beyonce's doing, she bringing the milkshake to the yard too. Nah, wow. Either way, your man getting paid. You know, sure getting everybody's money getting out of paid. All the rappers are getting paid. No, 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 no sir. You know what I'm saying? No, they're not. That we speaking of the Kanyes, yes. the Jay Z, oh, not, they, they getting money. Nah, it's not getting paid. What do you think? He doing it for charity? Nah, he not getting paid like what he posted. 
Now he's supposed to have his own label right now. Why is he supposed to have his own label? Because he's been in the game like that over don't mean nothing. 15 years. If I was cutting hair for 20 years, that don't mean I have to have my own shop. Everybody ain't built to right. own their own a, business. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't built to have their own business. Why, a, why do you gotta have his own label? It's a natural LL Cool J got his own label. True. He's garbage. He fell off, that's why. He on NCIS Miami. He didn't pay. Give me a the break, point man. is, longevity don't mean that you gotta have your own label, though. I see them on the Sears though. commercial. Ice-T don't got his own label. Ice-T is garbage. But the point is, they've been in the game for the longest. They don't have their own label. another one. You have to have your own but label, though. That's why they don't have their label. You know what I'm saying? You, so you're saying success is measured by having your own label? Natural progression. You can, a caterpillar, you can, a caterpillar you can, you turning can a butterfly. Into many other entities. That's natural. You can branch off into many other entities. You don't have to have your own label, though. A Sears commercial. Hey, I'm trying to get a haircut. Give me a break, man. A Sears commercial. You ladies love a Sears Men commercial. Love. Man, he's Men's always going to be a legend, though. He ain't Men's got nothing to prove. Right. What else got the proof? Your man ran him off of Def Jam he too. My videos. same dude. He making cool. videos right now. Same dude. Everybody who go L against made Def Jam though. And guess what? Where he at now? He's still around. He doing Sears commercials. It don't matter. He still. It's a paycheck who that comes with that. NCI it's a Miami. paycheck that comes with that. You must watch it. You know he's on it. No, I seen it on commercial. <laughs> I said, is that LL? I couldn't be sure. I was wow. Yeah, he is. He's been acting. I mean, Sweet. hey, but he ain't got nothing to prove. He's been in the game, what, 20, 25 years? Right, and he's doing he can't NCIS do other shit. Miami. He's sweet, yo. I mean, look at Ron. He had his little TV show with the family and all that. He, Ron paid because of his brother. You know what I mean? It don't matter. We talking about this pay. We talking about what they doing after the game, though. Yeah, it was a natural progression. If you in a game that long, even if you're a bar, you couldn't hear that long, you're supposed to be at a certain status. It ain't even got to be. You don't have to have no shop, but you're supposed to have X amount of dollars in the bank. And Nas, don't, he not doing it. How you know? You're not his accountant. I know you got a problem with you that. You don't know 50. what he made at the end of the fiscal year. I, you, I can't say that. I know you was fighting not to give her that fifty. I would be fighting not to give a bitch fifty dollars, fifty thousand dollars too. That's, you're right, fifty dollars. If you got it like that, it's fifty dollars. Nah, man. Even if you got it like that, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why didn't, no, Jay, no why didn't Jay hit beans off though? Man, that or right. Jazzo. What you mean? Hit, I don't know. That's his man. Who's man? You. Why Jazzo ain't my man. man. That was ja uh, Jay Z man. Ain't that what Jay Jazzo was snitch, huh? Wow. Jazzo was a snitch. Wow. But we we talking about hip hop. What he snitch on? Let's not get personal with that. that that's not I'm gonna stay, stay, stay away from that. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna stay away from that. So right now I wanna get some other perspectives, man. Who, who y'all feeling right now? Who's the best? And yeah, I. Oh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm from the Wallace, so I like the way right now. Yeah. So you like him just because he's from the N.O. Yeah. His territory. So really. You being biased then? Sort of. Okay, at least yeah. you honest with it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you just like a nigga just cause he from where you from. And I'm I, I'm not at home, so I'm out of my element, so when I'm not Man, at home. Man, hip hop is everywhere. Something. Yeah, but. Everywhere I go is hip hop. But that, that should be East Coast bias. Growing up in the South, living in Atlanta, listening to snap music, I hate all that snap music shit, so. I listen to something that somebody where I'm from. Talk about streets that I know when you talk about shit. And I done been to this shit. So when you mention that snap music, now that you on that tip, what, what makes people like that shit? Because a lot of people, a lot of people think it's whack. Yeah. Right. Yes, they get it. But, but, but motherfuckers is going crazy, and they and they making it and they and they selling that it's shit. You know what I mean? Somebody's liking it. Generation. I mean, I just with the new generation on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't so too it. much not people who do like it, but I'll say I hate that shit. So I'm saying, why is it lyrics ain't important no more? It is important. It don't seem like it, cause anybody with lyrics is garbage and getting pushed to the side. I ain't heard nobody say Eminem. Well, you, you, you just said it. I'm just saying, nobody, nobody ain't said Eminem, but he said he was trash. You feel like he trash though? Yeah. yeah. He ain't trash. Come on, man. He's not trash. Bro. I ain't saying he the greatest, but come on, man. That white boy cold, man. They cold they cold trash. You talking about lyrical rhyming though? You don't think M be lyrical rhyming? M, M is trash. That, that pill popping, kill my mom's middle, my daughter. middle of the country, milk and the cow music he makes. That's who brought his music, yo. Know? People in the mid, middle, Midwest. In fact, black people ain't buying his albums, yo. Know? Not like that. You kidding me? I mean, Eminem ain't nice. Well, I do, I Them rhymes do, is Jay, average, I do yo. I give Jay the top, you know what I'm saying, the top rapper Jay, or whatever. Look, Kanye the best doing it right now. I think Jay the best that ever did. Nah, no, I ain't a lot of best right now who hot. I say Wayne. I say Kanye. I say Wayne. He, Wayne, 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 Wayne ain't nobody. Lil Wayne rhyming, but well, he not lyrical. Like, he rhyming. He's called Rick Ross. Milk, you know. Uh, we talking about right now. Rick Ross doing his thing. OJ up there. 
And music, it's about money now. Make a club record, get some money, move on. It's about money. This nigga go to jail to get right back on song. He was hot already. What got to do with it? Yeah, I'm just saying, he stayed Yeah, what what jail got to do with it? Same same boy, you gotta give him his props, though. Man, that boy, that boy in the studio hard. The content. The so, let, me, let me ask you all this. So, so what is a rapper being messed on? What, what makes a nigga nice? Because see, everybody got their own opinion of what nice is to them. You might be looking at money and how much a nigga like made. A rapper, he, he might say, be looking he at a line and then he make you think about that line. You be like, wow. But well, a lot of people don't be listening to like the fabulous. Ah, well, 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 I mean, Fab yeah. do it, Kanye do it. Yeah. Been Some people don't. They always been on top with his consistent though. You feel? So I, got, I got to say, Jay is, is is the best rapper. But far as like hot right now, who been doing it? Who got to build it? I feel it's Wayne. Well, who the best of all time? If, if there was such an answer, Tupac. Same. Tupac. So Tupac is the best of all time. Yeah. Tupac. What, what's making him the best of all time? He looking at you like you fucking crazy. <laughs> Come on, man. I seen the look that you I gave got, I got to understand, like you said, B, what is the criteria? Because if you talk about dropping jewels, your boy Tupac, but he got put P.E. out there. You know, you talk about dropping jewels. I'm just saying all so around. Criteria. Now, all around? And see, now let me, let, me, let me set the stage right quick. Now, to me, at one time, a rapper was judged by how many styles he had. You know what I'm saying? He can flip the script, as they say. He can bring it this way, that way. Right. He dropping science. He battle rapping. He telling a story, you know what I'm saying? He might have a joint about a girl, you know what I'm saying? He freestyling, he, he coming all kind of ways. So the rapper that you like, does he do all that? You gotta think, does he do all that? If a nigga come at his neck, does he stop what he's doing if he's eating chicken let and shit? Let me say, let me say two letters, let me say two letters. Two letters. Two letters. He, he two had his back against the wall. Okay. LL. When Pac had his back against the wall, he went against what? <laughs> Almost like with the whole East Coast? When, when Pac was beefing with the whole East Coast, he went against everybody. So that wasn't no thing with Pac beefing. Oh, I mean, I'm not disputing what you're yeah. saying because there is no right or wrong answer. It's all a hip hop little opinion. But today is about marketing, period. It's not about hip hop. Hip hop has sold out, period, to the community. So it's just rap, real it's talk. It's, it's done. It's not like it's like your boy said, rap is dead. We still here. Yeah. And we rap. We the culture of rap, period. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But what's our message? Uh, is our message to sell these Nikes to these kids out here? Is always to uh, get these kids some knowledge. That's what that's what the real deal is. Now, when I was coming up, you know, it was all about you know, you know, like I said, it was bringing that, the message. Remember the message? Yeah. As a little shorty coming when I was coming up, man, that that hit me, B. I'm like, man, my uncles out there doing their thing. I see them getting locked up. I hear that message. Do I want to go that route, or do I want to go another way? You know what I'm saying? What are these kids hearing now? We ain't, the, the, the stuff we have out there now to me, that the that the majority of the cats who run the industry are dictating what we hear, and a lot of it's garbage. I'm sorry, and I love B hip hop. Keep me out of jail, B, because when I hear Tupac, or I hear somebody going through some shit, and I'm going through something, when I hear this right here, I cried on this beat before, you know. So how do we make that connection? What those ones that are, are looking at us. So what is hip hop? That's the big question. That's the big question. What is hip hop? And everybody got their own perspective. You know what I'm saying? I heard them say Rick Ross. Ooh. What, what, what is he bringing? <laughs> and the question is, what is he bringing to the game? Or any artist? When you come into the game, you usually bring in a new style of flow, some new swag. Rick, Rick Ross is nice, but I don't believe him. No, he hustles. He nice, but I don't believe him. He nice, but I don't believe him. I'm trying to figure out when he was flipping the bird in between ships. <laughs> well, he's, he's denying I'm, I'm that. Serious. Hey, I mean, yourself. I look. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> when you was flipping the bird, the night shift or the day shift? When? I mean, what? When, when did you have time to do it? Nah, so somebody here like. When did you meet the real Noriega? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no Rick Ross fans in here. I mean, he's an artist in his own, you know, respective right. Uh -huh. He's an entertainer, just yeah. like everybody else that's out now. Yeah. Back in the day, back in the 90s, back in the late 80s or whatever, when, when hip hop was really you know, prevalent in my day, it had a message, like like you said before. Yeah. And it, you know, you had some substance to it. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. were really talking. Nowadays it's all about it's all about ass, it's all about cash, it's all about haters. Yeah. When the message was the 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 you know coming up, rising up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
nowadays it's all about a party. It's all about a party. I can't get anything from Rick Ross right now. I can't get anything really from Wayne right now. I can't get anything that says, hey, you know what? I'm going through something. Let me listen to it. As opposed to riding down the street. Rick Ross make me want to be a drug dealer. <laughs> Cause most of, the time, most of the time, the rapper that you was listening to, yeah. you living vicarious through that artist. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, nowadays, I'm saying before you could relate to the artist. If he telling a story about how he had a bad day at work or his girl dissed him and he just went home and smoked the L or whatever he was doing, you could relate to it. But like I said, a lot of the shit that's going on now, I can't relate to it. I don't have a belly. Right. I don't drink, so I ain't popping Chris. Right. I don't drink Mo. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm, I can't relate to a lot of that. Now everything ain't gotta be true. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Things be facetious, you know, yeah. and you you have fun with it, and you you play with words and, and so on and so forth. But when you're talking real, what's really going on? Yeah. You know what's real about what you're doing right now, as opposed to what somebody's telling you. So is the audience that weak? Everybody seems to be migrating towards the dumb shit. It's a different phase. Yo, know, got it, huh? Yo, got it, huh? Yo, got it. I don't know who he is. Like Yo, got it. You will know about him. So he's coming out of Memphis. Yo, got it. Look him up on the internet. Yo, got it. That's my dog. I fuck with Yo, got it. You saying you know him personally? No, I'm person. He just, he just, he just, he just hot. You can, you can hear everything he said in his music. Like he been through the struggle. You know what I mean, Lil Boosie. Lil Boosie, you can feel his music. Free Boosie. You know what I mean? People like that. I relate to it. Case in point. He's talking about what he relates to. He's talking about what he relates to. And see, you're what, 26? 26. I'm 37. You see, you see there's a, that gap? Yeah, generation gap. Yeah, that gap between that, I mean, it transcended into something else from what I had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, okay. I want to be an artist. Back in the day, I want to be an artist. I'm gonna stay true to me, true to my music, and so on and so forth. Now it's like, okay, let me do what's what's hot or what's considered hot. That's what's staying true to form. Lupe Fiasco, he stays true to form. He goes off the beaten path, but at the same time, he trash. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's trash. He's trash. Right? Yeah. Because the message, you can't so get why, beyond why you the beat. He says I ain't my school. I mean, is it flavor. I mean, it's, it's got to be a reason why he says kick, push, and all that. You think he's straight garbage? Yeah, I, don't fuck with <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cool. You don't gotta like him, but I mean, it's the reason what's yeah, turning you away from him. So basically, is it saying the younger generation don't want to hear the message? If they want to hear a different message. Okay. There's a different message that's being heard right now. That's a different message that's being. A lot of it right ain't now. about the music. It's a lot about the, the image, how you look, and exactly. a lot of that. So the swag. They selling swag. Yeah, it's pretty much. All swag. Package, package swag. As so long as you got swag, you are you gonna, you gonna pop. As long as you got swag, as long as you got a, a beat, as long as you got a catchy ass hook, as long as you got females popping their asses to your music. You know who else can you got relate to though? Damn Max. Damn Max has good music. First, was good. X was good. Flesh my flesh. And the other one. Who was the other one? Dark and Hell is hot. Yeah. Them shit was good music. That was back in the day though. New music, this shit. It's all about making a record, getting some show money. Niggas want show money. Niggas ain't buying CDs. Everything's the internet. <laughs> Pretty much. So, so look. Let me let me turn it up a lot. Turn it up a notch. I'm gonna come over here to y'all. Top five rappers of all time in your opinion. Top five to me. Top five. Oh shit. Hey, yo. You can't tell everybody else. Rappers, MCs. Differentiate, like you said, MC, rapper, artist, top five of all time. Like if it's a Hall of Fame right now, who's gonna be the five inductees? I say most deaf. Most deaf. Q tip. Q tip. I mean, Tribe Called Twist, bring me back. You gonna bring the whole damn group or just two? I mean the whole, the whole group and the. Um, I listen to a lot of Busta Rhymes. Okay. I can't see the best though. But he, he good. Uh, Outcast is in it. Okay. And uh, what? Jay Z? Uh, top five. All time? You disagree with his uh, top five? Oh, yeah. You gotta put Biggie and Tupac in there. I ain't heard Big's name. The first time I heard Big's name all day. Yeah, Biggie, Tupac, uh, Nas. Um, I like the locks. Styles P and Jada, them niggas rock. Uh, uh, that's, that's pretty much my top five. I like Fab too. What's that? Fabulous be uh, coming with it. Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Pop, 
Biggie. Um, so, listen, when I hear about the top five, I ain't heard nobody say nothing about Ghostface. Right. I hear his name. I, I, I didn't hear Big Daddy Kane's name. I, ain't heard I, I didn't hear Cool G Rap name. Uh, don't even say it over I, I didn't hear Melly Mel's name. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I didn't hear none of those names. So, no, I know, I know, I'm just saying. Why you got to you in Georgia, man. That's why I want to get to Georgia. So many different people. That's my point, and that's why we here. Where you from, guys? Okay, where you from, guys? Okay, Chicago, where you from, Kimpo? Kimpo, where you from right here? New York. We all gonna have a different concept of what we think is the And that's why we're here. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the issue is, who built hip hop and who can pay for it right now? Okay. Well, who built hip hop? We can play. We did the hood. Like my man said, our hardship in them streets built hip hop. I'm now, a, I agree. Now, you had cats out there like the so called politicians speaking on our behalf. At the same time, they're not even going to the youth to where our hardships come from to find out how we rectify the problem that we have. So, who built hip hop? We did. What we're getting for? Not a goddamn thing. But a few well, who brothers. That <laughs> so 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 who responsible for messing up hip hop? You know what I'm saying? You got like UGK, 8 Ball, MJG, people yeah. like that. Like pretty much the South fame ain't do nothing but help. Rap, hip hop, music, whatever you want to call it. And you got people like T.I., Lil Wayne. In a sense, in a sense it is dying with the, so the saying, new. So I'm saying, so that's what we want to know. Why South is hip hop dying? Yeah. New South yeah. fucked up. That's a better way to put it. What rappers you talking about? Huh? New South. I don't even know their name. I just hear their black shit on the radio. Like what? Like what? That LOL smiley face, how that even get airtime? How you even play that shit? LOL smiley face. Come on, man. You gotta be ashamed as a DJ to play that. LOL smiley face. So I'm saying, is it the South fault that hip hop is messed up? Hell no, it ain't. Okay. It's the yin yang twin. That premise is all wrong, man. So what's your point? See, that premise is That's the thing about it. Everybody got their own type of style. You know what I'm saying? Like people in New York, we can all agree that the game is fucked. People in New York probably they don't probably always spend the South because we ain't lyrical rapping. But we can say oh, but you know that though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 h
He was all right. Nah, he wasn't all right. He was more than all right. Nah, you made know what? And I'm gonna tell you this. Made him more than all right. Listen, Primo said. Listen, Primo quoted. Every time I made a track, he was with it. It wasn't no back and forth. What he had to go through with other artists. Yeah, right. they didn't like to, they didn't have to go through that. Yeah, anybody can get off with a break. Yeah, yeah. Anybody. If Guru had came out with any other producer, he would have been trash. Yeah. I'm be real with you. That was Bream in his prime. I can agree with that. Bream in his prime. I can agree with that. God bless the day. Yeah. 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 But he yeah. was yeah. nice though. Give him his props. Yeah. 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 Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. He was all right. He was all right. Daily yeah. operation. Yeah. No, I was just trying to see. Like everybody agrees that the game is all scrambled and mixed up. I'm just trying to figure out why. You told me you I'm from Atlanta. People from the West Coast, whatever. Right? You don't respect the fact that it's different. It's just different. Hip hop is different. See, I wouldn't give a fuck if that nigga was from. If he's bringing it, he's bringing it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't care if the nigga was from Alaska. He nice, he nice. You, you gotta give props to somebody, but we try to categorize. It don't matter what they say long as the beat is nice. <laughs> That's a question. I'm just asking. No, listen to what I'm saying. Tony Montana. Hold on. Hold on. When I say break it in the South, I say the first name is Scott. No, I'm not saying that. You're talking about Payton. 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 Oh, I didn't, I, listen, he said, this is the thing I so told, I told you, people up north don't respect the sound because they feel like we don't rhyme about this. But like I said, <laughs> uh, but we can say, we can say what y'all up there, like, yo, y'all got whack beats, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, y'all got talking about rapping, though. We talking about rapping. Y'all got whack beats. Talking about, rapping, talking about, rapping, talking about rapping, so you don't tell us that. Listen, 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 so you saying, you saying Rick Ross, you saying Rick Ross, they have, uh, New York, they have no influence on Rick Ross? I'm just saying, that's, I'm that's, where, that's where hip hop come from, New York. No, I'm, I'm just saying, so I'm saying Rick Ross, man, New York, they have no influence on Rick Ross. Hip -hop, man. For sure. What about, what about Lil Wayne, you know? I'm asking you a question. Okay, so why everybody from up north now coming down south? Yeah. 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 Y
the, the ability to move from one line to the next smoothly without with, where you're not lost. What the hell this line got to do with the last line? Yeah. Like That's rhyming. Like the transition between bars. Like you said, you can tell a story. Bar. You can, the smooth you can, transition yeah. between bars that tell a story. One one bar leading to the next and then the next and tell the whole story. It's a beautiful picture. Like I said, it's called you're not flipping the like script. That. Like you know Big Daddy Kang and all that. Like, you know, like, 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 you ever heard the phrase going in? You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's say yeah if you didn't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a phrase that rappers use called going in. That's basically when the instrumental is on and they start freestyling, they just blank the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Where well, they just going and they keep it going. They call it the rapid fire spitting. If you don't never heard it, listen to some artists like Ghostface, he went in. Big Daddy Kane. Cool G rap. Listen to the symphony. You know what I'm saying? That's going in. That's like one of the greatest, if not ever, greatest posse cuts ever put on wax. Going in. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 a lot of people like us, I'm an old schooler, we used to rappers going in. Yeah, you can make a song where you funning around, acting silly and all that shit, but when it come down to come down, you're going in. And a lot of rappers in the South, not all, some of them can't go in. And when, when a rapper nah, he can't nice. go in, he nice. He's 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 nice. You got What's the game. His name is Chubby. He's down with Cassidy. Anybody heard of Chubby? I'm just saying. <laughs> no, you know, just Anybody? Saying. But, but my point is, listen, listen. Just because you ain't heard of somebody don't mean they ain't nice. Who else? You know what I'm saying? Who the else? game. The game is trash. He's finished. On, <laughs> he from Cali, though. He's underground. You know what I'm saying? He's still nice, though. What? He's, he's finished. finished. He's still nice. Cali is over. It's over. They, you know, nobody make, making nothing out of Cali. It's the truth. Why ain't nobody making nothing, really? Well, uh, that's the case. Bad, man. But, 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 but it's people that are nice that, that ain't getting no recognition though. But that, I'm talking about who winning right now. I mean, it's not like every, all the rap. That's like saying, every, like, say if the shop doing bad, every nobody's eating in here. Then you can say we doing bad. Sometime, if Corey eat, Terry eat. Risa eat, they eating. How I'ma be mad at the shop cause cause my product or what I'm doing ain't working. It's a shop, it's open. Yeah. That's what's happening. I bet you Rick Ross ain't mad, Fab ain't mad, Flies ain't mad, Gotti ain't mad, Jeezy ain't mad. So what do you think about all the people you just named though? I, I respect what they doing. I ain't like them. Do you like that music? Yeah. I mean they don't get the ride with you and we bumping yeah. they shit. Now we're gonna take turns in the ride. No, I'm saying I ain't got no CDs, but <laughs> I know that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. If you get my car, you gonna ride. We gonna, we, gonna, we gonna go oh, do we it. Bump some of them artists that you named. Yeah, though. definitely. I mean, I feel like I like some of the music. I like, you know, so I might don't not like. You like. What don't you like? I like all music, man. For real. I just don't like to dance to it, though. So you know, dancer. So if you got dance to it, it's garbage. I ain't gonna say that. I'm just not gonna listen to it. I'm not gonna really ride to it, though. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't riding to it. I really, I mean, I really mess with Fab, though. That's it. I hear a lot of mumbling. Speak up. Speak up. Uh, I was telling him, like, flute artists like Jill Scott. Where's she at? This. Jill Scott? <laughs> Jill Scott. She out now. She got a new album. I mean, she got a new album, but who is to her? I'm 20 years old. I'm from Chicago. I just graduated from high school. <laughs> <laughs> she all be so honest. Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but in the night. I'm not saying the nice. I'm just saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm just saying in the nicest, sweetest way. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I, I was just saying that. I was just saying that. What's real is not getting played. We all on materialistic objects. I'm 20 years old. When I'm you say we, who are you speaking for? I'm speaking about my generation. Oh, say that then. I'm sorry. Be 20. You know what I'm saying? With my generation, we ain't, I, we, we as a generation is not really on that mindset of, oh, we gotta, we gotta buckle down and get ours. We on, it's a party, we finna do it, we gotta do it, we ate it. My shoes, my gear, everything. You ain't got on shoes. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm saying, uh, my gear is me. I'm not me, but my gear is me. And that is part, that's true. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, let me get that. You said, I'm not me, but my gear is me. Give it up, yeah. You talking about, you talking about rappers, I'm trying, I'm trying, to, trying to describe 
who they are in their rap nowadays. That's what he talking about. Like who shit ain't being played in the club, niggas ain't listening to. I'm trying to let him talk, man, because everybody's speaking for him. I want him to say exactly what. Explain this to me like I'm a four year old. Like I'm a four year old. Act like I'm four years old and tell me this again. What you see and what you see on TV, what you see on TV is not who you are. Maybe who you want to be, but it's not who you're meant to be. And you're speaking for all the 20 year olds. I mean, so I'm saying this, as the, to the young generation, how come lyrics don't matter to you? Like when Ice-T this Soldier Boy, right? He dissed him because he ain't taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? When you making songs like I get my swag, uh, you know, like, man, man. and I'm just saying, I'm just saying, he basically was dissing him because he looked like you don't take take it serious and write no rhymes or nothing, like you just just doing whatever. I, I mean, I'm just saying. Ice T, why would you even say something, Soldier Boy? He eating, leave that man alone. What are you doing, Ice T? Is it a measure on how much money you make? Oh, I think. It'd be so, a marketing. Uh, so Jay Z would have said it when he would have got that. said it from if, Brooklyn, up, first if, of all. If he did, he got his own way. Well, he would have got the scrutiny that Ice T got. First of all, Jay wouldn't have did that because he respect what he's doing, and that's what the respect comes. No, point. you're respecting people because they getting paid. No, 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 no. I thought you judge the rapper off his skill. No, no. I don't want to stop. So you saying if I? No, 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 no. Nah. Yes, 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 yes. It's yes, about yes, the money. Side effect of how nice he is. Yeah, like it's about the money. Oh, oh, oh. Back in the days, it was people that had money. They so Mr. Like have money, he was rolling no, with they, the posse, they, they had the limo and all that. Was you respecting him? Who? Sir Mixelot, he had dough back then. I mean, you respect him, he did. I mean, yeah, he made money. I mean, I might not respect his music, he made money. He's, he's feeding his family. Nah, I'm saying, we're talking about as far as hip hop is going. Right right yeah. You know what I'm saying? At that time, they wasn't even getting paid in hip hop. That's the whole thing. Yeah, the People didn't even know how they could get paid, how they could sell a brand. People didn't even know how to sell a brand back then. So, there's a lot of factors why they wasn't getting money right Like, Soldier Boy coming up to be a multi-millionaire within seven or eight months. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, boy. He's but he got a following, Soldier Boy, huh? Soldier Boy got a following, though. Soldier Boy, go good. Now, now, you respect Soldier him as a, a, a businessman or an entrepreneur, but yeah, you respect him it. as an artist, though. Um, be honest, though. As an artist? Yeah, I, yeah, I really, I respect him as an artist. I do. Then why is that? What I mean, because he made money. He made us, he put so us. Made no, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying I, I respect him as an MC. I don't respect the words he say and things like that. I don't listen to him, but as far as what he did and as an artist, marketing and all that, like him, Bow Wow, and those kids or whatever, they doing their thing. So for Ice-T to really try to say, yo, he's saying some bullshit or this, that, and the third, he hating. Ice-T Wait a minute. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Once again, hating is allowed in hip-hop. You, you can't diss another rapper? And that reality show he doing, Please, yeah. This one better than that one. <laughs> nah, it's hating? It is hating. So, so if you bust your rhyme, and I say, oh, man, you garbage and shit. Am I hating? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. say yeah. Nah, I'm gonna say yeah. say yeah. So, if he say a rhyme, and I don't like it, and I think I'm better, or I think my man is better, I'm hating? Yeah. I can't, you think I think Ice-T better than Soulja Boy? Yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. Just saying. I, what you think? I, I say yeah. It depends on your Cause age. Cause I don't know what the it fuck age got to do with it. I'm just saying you got, you got young cats for 17, 18 you probably listen to Soulja Boy. But you ain't gonna think no, no 25, no 28 or 30 year old. Ice-T is better than Soulja Boy. And I say yes. Why? For one, Ice-T got some lyrical content. It ain't gotta be the greatest. He got some songs that we did like, nigga might front on it now. They liked it at, whether it was a soundtrack or whatever. Like I said, Soldier Boy has never. I, don't even, I can't even recite none of his rhymes because he don't really have any rhymes. That's your niece or your nephew at 16 and 17. Who they gonna pick? They gonna say, they're 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 and young go hand in hand. Being young ain't no excuse. Nah, Half the rappers that we like was was 16 when they came out, like Nas, Special Ed, LL. You know what I'm saying? Came with lyrics, and they was young boys. Even Run. So being young is no excuse. Boy Juice from the Hip Hop Opinion. First of all, I want to pay homage to my man Malice from the Clips. Yes, sir. Definitely a hip hop icon. I've been down since the funeral. Okay. A lot of oh, people yeah. don't even go back yeah, that far. Nah, you took it to since the very the funeral, essence, to you know the very saying? beginning, straight up. And uh, you yes, know, sir. I just wanted to pay homage first of all oh, as man, a fan. You know, that. much Thank respect, you. dude. Thank you. And uh, and you here promoting a book. 
Yes. Tell us yes. a little bit about your book that you promote. Well, you know, the book is entitled Wretched Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked. Me personally, I happen to think that it's one of the most significant things going on in hip hop right now. Um, it just paints a picture, tells a story that isn't often told, isn't often seen. And um, I'm just glad to be able to share my story with people. Okay, that's cool. I'm quite sure we get an interesting feedback from it. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I, I just got one question. I ain't going to hold you up. It's all good. What do you think of the game right now? Just you know, period. If you could just sum it up in one little, you know what I mean? You know, um, I always say, you know, everything changes. Nothing uh, stays the same. Just it's that you and I, we have the luxury of being able to recall a time when everybody that was out was dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was dope. You know, from your Big Daddy Kane to your Cool G's to your Rock Kims and everybody that was out was just just crazy. But nothing stays the same and um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in, in seeing uh, where the younger generation is taking it. Um, I think it pretty much speaks for itself, you know, where, where a lot of people's heads at. It's a lot of great music going on out there and it's a lot of garbage as well, so. <laughs> Definitely a lot of garbage. You know. <laughs> so there you have it. Jay from Malice from the Clips. For sure. The Hip Hop Little Opinion. We keep it coming, baby. Get the book, Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked. As y'all can see, we just finished wrapping it up with one half of the duo known as the Clips who formerly goes by the name of Malice. His new name is No Malice, and he just hit us off with his new book, Wretched, Pitiful, Poor, Blind, and Naked. Y'all need to check that out for those who like to read. Again, he made a name change on us, y'all. His name is No Malice. So read the book and you'll figure out why he made that name change. Or you can hit him up on his Twitter, at No Malice 757. I wanna get back to my man who said, if I diss another rapper, I'm hating. You can't give your opinion no more? You hate it? You don't gotta like what's being put out there, you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 you can't. That's the whole point. That's the whole point of this show. To let people get their opinion. You know, this ain't called the keep it to yourself show. Now, 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 who, no, 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 just do, like when Who do when, you respect uh, though? With key respect. I respect Fab. Now what if Fab said it? What if Jay-Z said it? What, say what that if Jay kid said it? Yeah. That he's whack? Yeah. I respect them more. So just put it in perspective. I mean, I respect them more Let's because they 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 doing something now. What First I of say, all, you in movies and all this other stuff, you want to come back with your opinion. Nobody cares what you say. Okay, say Styles don't. P said the same thing as Soulja Boy. I respect them. So it's true. You put twerking. It, I it was the message and no, not the nah, message. Nah, nah, nah. It's the you, message. How you going to say? My man said if I can't cut hair, I'm going to say he can't cut hair. If you think you're better than him, nah. I seen that movie Barbershop and what, what they do at the end of the movie, they had a little cut off and shit. movie called Message, there's nothing called Truth. Okay, so you have truth in your message, so if you don't have it. So what Ice-T said about Soulja Boy, was it true? <laughs> Anybody want to step up and be Johnny Cochran for Soulja Boy? Yeah. When the, he said he was garbage. He said he's wasting his fucking time in the studio. Like, yo, I'm just asking. Was it? Huh? You can still say it. I got to pick between the IT and Soulja Boy. I'm trying to get money. He wasn't putting himself in it saying that he was better. True. It's true, but I'm just saying. When hip hop started out, and M, you know, and you know, and you it's definitely true. know, it started with the battle. Yeah. So if another rapper says something, whether you like it or not, you gonna diss him anyway. Like that ass, huh? You know what I'm saying? So my point is, he was so saying, why is too white? Why is too? Why is too? Didn't just go at him then. I guess he ain't coming at him from a. Uh, like he yeah. Yeah. But he's coming at him. He's coming at him from a teacher's perspective. He can't teach him. Who so, is he to make him a teacher? Listen, listen, he no, can't teach. If he been in the game like 20, 30 yeah, some years, how many hours Ice T got? I don't know. Maybe like 10. Maybe I don't know. He's no. He's no legend in the game. I don't know why he ain't. Why? Not for his music. Because you don't like him. No, I'm just saying. He far, didn't if he didn't have the movies, if he had the movies, he would. He came in rapping. That's why I don't like. him. In That's the West Coast, they might say. My point is, he is. Listen, whether you like him or not, he is a legend. What do you say? What do you say over there? I said, don't. I said, you don't like Ice T because he's not from the East Coast. He's not a lot of love. If I don't like you, that means you're whack. It's a known fact you're whack. But how come you can say that back here? If I don't like you, that means you're whack. It's a known fact you whack. But how come you can say that, but he can't say that? Because I'm from New York and I know the music came from New York. But Ice T can't validate his shit. Does that make sense, y'all? You know what I'm saying? How the fuck he gonna be biased? He can say what he wants. He, he basically saying that he can validate his opinion.
everything I went through and go back and get caught up in the stuff. You know why? I don't think respect that way because you, you, you have your know. white folks looking at you and everything you look, do. I know, I know they looking at me. That's why I'm definitely not getting caught up in the mix. But yo, big, I'm not big, no fool. But Biggie, that's, 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 that's why Jay Z is you. That's you. But yo, my man, I'm not caught up in the mix. But that's why I don't respect him. Yo, Biggie was on trial. He had a case pending. He had guns and weed. That's cool. Get caught for a gun because you try to protect yourself. I respect that. the weed? You protect yourself. All right, I smoke weed. So what? He said that pop then they raised big. Why you say that? Because when we when we got to the industry, he ain't no shit about the industry. We come say that this industry sleep on a nigga couch and everything. You can sleep on my couch. What that mean? Come on. What that mean you slept on my couch? Yeah, no. It just means you slept but on my couch. But y'all the reason y'all say that because y'all from New York, y'all gonna say no. Big is number one. No, no. Tupac was in Digital Underground when Big came Look, out. Look, let me tell you. Talk first first of all, wasn't even no pop yet. First of all, Pac, Pac not lyrical. Thank you. Pac is not lyrical. Let's get that out the way. Pac was, what he had feeling to his music. So, and whatever he, whatever he said, whatever he said, whatever he said, 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 uh, the best rapper will be somebody who's nice. To me, the best rapper will be somebody who's real. You, because the way you from, because the way you from, you think the spitting and all of that shit, that's what makes somebody nicer to you. Listen well, to I'm from. You said the best rapper. Yeah. The, uh, but hip hop, hip hop, whatever you want spitter. You, you, he saying. If somebody who got hot lines or who, who can put together a nice story, I want somebody who is saying stuff that I feel. That's me. Okay, but that's how you feel because that's how you base your shit on. Well, I'm, how I feel, I'm basing my shit off of that. And you feel that way because it's the East Coast. That's how East Coast niggas is. I respect that. You mean that too? That's not who you do rap That's me. 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 Big change the way dudes wrote they rhyme. Dudes push their albums back when that yeah, man was but Pac, Yo, but listen, I agree. But Pop changed how niggas lived their life, though. He he resurrected the thug nigga. You know what I'm saying? After a while, everybody was gonna take off their shirt guess what? and get tattooed. Guess what? He wasn't even the thug people thought he was. He probably wasn't. No, he not probably. I know. I know for a fact. But he had so many personalities. You know what I'm saying? Doc. Tupac wasn't Tupac on Rikers Island. I'm gonna tell you that. He probably wasn't. Yeah, he he wasn't even Bishop. <laughs> he wasn't even bishop on records up. That's a whole nother story that's I ain't gonna get story. into. Did, did Biggie go? Business, but that's a did whole Biggie go to story. Rikers? You know what I'm saying? I, I know plenty of niggas that's real niggas when they go to jail, they do their fucking time and come home. It's about doing your time and coming home, bro. He wasn't even doing it right. Straight up. He wasn't, I was on there with him. He wasn't even doing it right. He wasn't even doing his time right. Right, so he was right crying. Step, right where, yeah, where, oh where, man, where, look, Doc, he had, he, he, man, <laughs> I can't, but, yeah, you gotta be in there to go through he, that, they look, even go through that. That's why he was so good at poetic justice, that's why he did good in gridlock, because he's a beautiful actor. He had me, he had me convinced in Juice, because he's an actor. They say that they from New York. He's not real about what he I don't believe that's dead, man, I'm not gonna talk, but. I'm talking about the black. Shit. I'm not talking about that bishop ass shit. I'm not yeah, talking about yeah, that. But that's who he thought he was in real life. That's not, I'm, I'm, so I'm, 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 I